Hello, travelers. Welcome back to another episode of The Bear. Episodes one and two, I really, really enjoyed. Episode three, it was, it was, it was good. It was fine. It was good, but not as good as the first two for sure. But it definitely communicates the stress of the restaurant being open and running for a better part of two months now. But I, I don't know, man. I'm going with Hawaiian, just kind of just nice tropical vibes right now to hopefully just de-stress. I think I, they, we, we all need a bit of a vacation at this point. But last episode, uh, Marcus's mother's funeral happens. Marcus got to say a few words. He got a, a, a little mini monologue, but, you know, I, I guess something's better than nothing. And the restaurant's been operational for a while. Richie and Carmi are at each other's throats, but somehow we're making it through. Operationally, eh, technically it's working. As far as I can gleam, uh, it's getting positive reviews. People like it. Uh, they're packed. Plenty of people. Plenty of food. Tables being booked to book night after night. I mean, I believe the problem is that Carmi's changing the menu every single damn day. And in doing so, buying so many expensive ingredients. And they're just they're, they're getting some money in, but not nearly enough to justify the, the, the costs. So that was kind of all that happened last episode for the most part. I mean, there were a little bit finer bits of minutiae, but... I think Richie is absolutely getting shit on. He's one of the strongest components of the bear, period. And Carmi is not treating him with the respect he deserves. And I'm fully team Richie at this point. So hopefully things will turn around soon for our boy. Oh, we got some like classic, classic music hey. again. Do you know what day it is? It's Wednesday, but I really had to think about it. Carmi oh, talking to no Claire? Idea. Does that happen to you? All of the time. Flashback, I assume. I'm gonna tell you something. Are they gonna reconcile this episode? Honest, I like Mondays. Mondays. You like Mondays? Psychopath. Anything's possible. Exactly. Well, that's a nice outlook. Okay. Favorite day. Saturday, I think. At least if I'm not working. Not Sundays. <laughs> anxiety for the week. Oh, restaurants closed. So anxiety that I have nothing to do. Yes. Damn. Mm -hmm. Hard time turning it off. You know, at night, it's like that buzzing sometimes. It's just impossible to turn off. You know. It's impossible. Yeah. Yeah. That's the dad on like, <sighs> Jesus. I mean, this all stems from his trauma, right? Because he poured himself into this to try to block out the rest. And that's a dangerous position to put yourself in because, I mean, yeah, if you work hard, keep on just tunnel vision, work, work, work and you find your passion and then just dig into that and pour your all into it, it's all well and good. But if you're not doing that, it's like if you stop doing that, the voices come back. As uh, Dementis puts in Inferiosa, what is it? The, uh, the, the uh, an Anky Black Sorrow. To feel alive, we seek sensation, any sensation, and wash away the cranky black sorrow. And it leaves us for a moment, but then it comes back. We have to do it all again. In my more depressive states of mind in the past like decade or so, not as much these days, but when I'd be super depressed or super anxious or in bad head spaces, if I just was like, go, 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 and I kept just doing things, I'd go out, do social situations, go out to eat, hang out with friends, make content, play a game, watch a movie. If I just kept doing things and filling my day with activities, I wouldn't have time to stop and think about everything and that's kind of what carmy's been doing i feel but eventually you gotta face the music not to toot my own horn or anything but you gotta stop and be able to be okay with sitting in a room with your thoughts and addressing the the emotional trauma elephant in the room and really like self-examine and think and process and then you know change your headspace really it's unfortunate because claire was kind of a it was a rock for Carmi, and I don't know if I want to go as far as to say she offered... I think to an extent she offered temperance for him. Your heart's beating kind of fast. Okay? I guess she tempered yeah, him great. in a way, but sure? she was a support system. Sure. And he was able to talk to her about all this. You okay? And he did. Yeah, I'm okay. Should we ask each other that five more times? Okay. Of course the heart's beating fast. You're there on him, being all lovey-dovey. May I ask you a question? Yeah. What the f is this? Mm. What happened? We saw it episode Grabbed one. A really hot pot. <laughs> we must have really grabbed it because it's really deep. Yeah, I just wasn't paying attention. Uh, did it um 
It hurt so much that it didn't hurt at all. Yeah. Damn. That blinding searing past the it's point a, of pain. pain. His came in like cuts all over her the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. It's always the worst day. That and St. Patrick's Day. Really? I believe it. Yeah. Idiots. Well, it's the worst time in a restaurant. Out in droves. Saturday at 8.15. Hmm. Think about that and then multiply it by in hell. Okay. But this girl came in and she was so beautiful. She was like 17 and she was at this party and she was dancing and... What happened? Oh, she cut herself. Glass table? She tripped and fell onto a glass table and it just like... Got it. It ripped through her and oh. she had cuts all over her arms and her back and her you don't look around with glass man the only scar that i have to this day and i'm not sure if uh let me see something i'm not sure if you can see it or not maybe i've never broken fractured anything like that i was trying to move a glass tabletop for my mother and in a fit of a, a, a moment of genius decided to, to, to try it solo because it was only me and long story short glass tabletop slid off the table into her hardwood floor whilst I was still holding it. So if you've ever had, if you ever get a chance in your life to have, to hold a pane of glass as it shatters in your hand, um, don't because it, sh it shattered in my hand and a shard like just sunk into just into that part of my hand. And I didn't get stitches because I was in between medical insurance at the time. And I'm proud to be an American. It was the very same day that Stranger Things Season 1 premiered. So I wrapped it up. I put pressure on the wound. And I said, Mom, just put something on. I'm going to let the blood clot in the wound. Put on that Stranger Things show. That could be good. It scarred, but it healed. But yeah, glass and axes in horror movies. Those are the two things that make me nervous. Her stomach and it was everywhere and she was bleeding and we couldn't figure out what the source was and she didn't know what happened. She didn't know where she was. Jeez. We were slammed, so I read her chart wrong. Yeah. And she had a penicillin allergy and she went into shock and it was, it was f***ing terrible. Yeah. Yeah. So we gave her a shot of epinephrine and... Jesus. I felt horrible. You make mistakes. And Everybody makes mistakes. She was in surgery forever and when she got out, she was covered in stitches and skin glue and she was gonna have scars like all over her body but when she when she finally woke up she she couldn't stop laughing why i don't think it hurt yet oh. good scene but god that's an intense story and now carmy's just thinking about her isn't he you gotta talk to her you gotta talk to her She's one of the most empathetic characters in the show, in your life. I keep forgetting, I don't, I don't think it's the hospital room. I think it was, I mean, he was at the hospital that one night. But I think he had like a, a room in her his mom's house where she was being taken care of. But clearly he keeps revisiting it. Turns it on just to hear the noise again. That's sad. Remembering her still there. Ah, oh, jeez. Are we getting a Marcus episode? I think the last time we had one was, uh, was it Sunday? The one where he goes to, uh, Copenhagen. It is nice getting, like, actual character episodes, too. Not just Carmi. Not just Sid, either, because I think Carmi, Sid, and Richie are, like, the cruxes of the show. Hello? Oh. I do like how, Mar like, where, where and how Marcus manages to find the beauty in life little moments uh, new docu-sign thought she already signed it or has she not signed it yet god as much as i respect and love the culinary world i can't imagine the stress i mean i've worked in a kitchen one of the first uh it wasn't like uh, like anything as nice as that, but one of the first jobs that I worked was, uh, I mean, tax pain was a restaurant, and it was a mixture of like front of house, uh, cashier, the drive through. I kind of sometimes helped the kitchen or like food prep, but kitchens are stressful, man. 
Oh, okay, take a breath. When we get some happiness, huh? When we get a mild amount of stress relief. Whose house are we in? Who are we paint? Okay, just say it. What do you think? It's, uh, it's great. Oh, it's her new apartment? Dad. Honey? Yeah. <laughs> do you want to say, like, what you actually think? I think it's small. Uh-huh. It's expensive, and it's a longer ride to work. Okay, well, I, you, you're, you're being pretty negative. I'm you, not being negative. Bro, I, I can't with that. You asked for his honest opinion. Those are the facts of the case here. I think you could stay with me and save money. Well, I already told you I'm getting raised, so. But you still haven't told me what the partnership agreement says. They're still fine-tuning it, because that's why I can't. Ned hasn't said to get, whatever. Have you felt these walls? Well, they're no, thin. I haven't felt oh, the walls. No. They're thin. They're fine. No, I, no I don't listen know to your dad on this one. These walls or the partnership promises. Oh, jeez. Do you want me to kill you? I, I, I could kill you. It's thin. <laughs> it's fine. I'm fine. Send me. It's thin. thin. Stop. You're oh, just my God. saying it. I'm not. You asked for his opinion. You're I not. get it. You don't want him to poo poo all over it, but. I just think you're moving too fast. You don't want me to move out. It's not that. I, I just. No, no, he's right, though. Like, he's worried that you, he believes in you. He loves you. He loves his daughter, and he wants to support her. And he's said as much, and his intentions have been made clear in that regard. His concern is he's seen her in a bad spot once before. The catering business did so well, and then things crashed and burned. And he's just concerned for her. And then, yeah, she has a raise. But it's like when I bought my car, like the, the current car that I have. It's a nicer car than my previous car. Should I have bought it? No, certainly not. Did I buy it because I could? Yes. And that's oftentimes the problem people her age and my age might face. And I think people in general, right? The difference between should I do this X, Y, and Z or can I do it? Like, yeah, she can buy this apartment because she has a raise and she can make that big move in that transition. But should she? Like financially and like stability wise? Like maybe wait until the restaurant's really in the green? I don't know, but... I just want you to take your time. Well, I can't. Because I already signed the lease. Sydney. She already signed the lease? All right, well. We better go find you a couch. Aw. I want one of those, like, L-shaped no, ones. Second -hand no, second-hand store, second-hand <laughs> store, second-hand <laughs> store. Yep. Dad's trying to be dad. Look, we're, we're popping on everybody in their family life. I like how, again, his dad, like, her dad, he just, I, I got the place already. He's like, okay, well. Let's work with that then. How can we? How, what should we do? How can we help? Yeah. His daughter. Yeah. You know, you sound like cousin Neil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna have fun today. Frank's taking you to the Museum of Science and Industry. What is Frank? What's Frank? Yeah. Who's Frank? Frank's mama's fiance, baby. What do I call him? Oh. I don't know. Do I call Whatever him? You want. Do I call him dad? But he's not my uncle, like Carmi. No, baby, nobody's like Carmi. But you like Frank, right? Everything's a little different, though, huh? And you're by yourself. I'm not by myself. I'm with you. Oh. Not when you're not. Kids are alone. Yes. Mom does. Oh, see, kids are smart. Between what she's overheard from her mother and what she figures out and sees for herself, kids are never underestimate kids, especially when they're in these, these formative years. Like they, they are a lot smarter than you give them credit for, and they can they can see through the bullshit and figure things out real quick. Did she say alone or lonely? I don't know. You know, baby. Don't sugarcoat it. Can I have a hundred candles? Right now. No, for my birthday, I have a cake. Yes, in two months, I will give you 100 candles. I only told you and Auntie Dee Dee. Where did you see Auntie Dee Dee? In the store with Mom. Wow. She's coming to the wedding. Auntie Dee Dee's coming to the wedding? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Love it. Yeah. yeah. I love you. I love you. Aww. Good for him for being there. Good for him. God, I love Richie. He's great. He's trying. He's trying so hard. For the best, perhaps. Gotta move on, man. She's getting married. 
come into your own. Gotta move on. You've already found a healthy way forward. It's it's giving us everybody's lives. What are you thinking about? Oh, Pete. Mm, I promised I'd see her before. I wonder if Pete will ever What's confess. What's that saying? Find Dee Dee before Dee Dee finds you? <laughs> is that what it is? I think so. Okay. I'll be back a week from tomorrow. Then we can FaceTime. I know. Two weeks away. <laughs> Two weeks? <laughs> Oh Sweet. my god. It's gonna be a wedding, a funeral, and a birth. My girl, my girl. Hey, Jerry. Hey, morning, Tina. That's it? That's it. It's kind of dead. There's fewer and fewer months to grow vegetables now, and because of that, there's fewer and fewer farms. It used to be you could come down here, buy everything you needed for a full menu, all in one spot. Whatever grows together, goes together. Whatever grows together, goes together. Okay, make it more elegant. Which one on the right there? Yeah, it's a little loose. It's a little angly. Make it flush. Make it flush. Oh no! What did you do hey, to the car, office? Come out of here! Help! 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 Please! Please! Oh, he's coming, Joe. Okay. Oh, the facts. Yeah. They're goaded though. Choo -choo training time. Yeah, it's nice, right? Oh good. my god. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, let me. Uh, no, every major food. Let critic. me. Every major food critic. Is good or bad? Is that more pressure, or is that? I hate this feeling. What feeling, Carl? Yeah, what feeling, Carl? Oh, no. Take a step. Thought you'd do better. Well, maybe we've reached as far as your talent can go. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. Um, this looks good though. This is smart. Um, it's 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 a very sweet notion from the fix, but that's one of his like fears. It's the pressure of success, literally looking down on him, looming over him in his office here. Good job. Just uh, put these in a binder. Find yeah. right, the host to stand, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Cool. Just don't have him hanging up like that, but he handled that pretty well. Could have been worse. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Can't with them, I swear. I'm proud of us. I'm we so proud we of nailed us. it. Okay. Yeah. If any single one of these people come into this building, yeah. you need to realize it's code red. Code red. Code red. Red. What if they already came in here, though? Impossible. I've already memorized every single one. I just, I just printed this. I pre-memorized. That makes sense. <laughs> exactly. Your memory is so sick. It's the best. It is the best. Yeah, I have the best one. Yo, honestly. Hey! Purpose, chef. I feel Come like on. Bear's starting to like respect me. No. No, no. Like, as a man, <laughs> not a friend. If he <laughs> respected you, he would let me know that information because that's a lot of information for him to Ebra. hold in. Ebra, he's buddy. let things go, and he would tell me because yeah. I'm his best friend. Yeah. I and then I would. How sick is it that I work here? It's the best. I love you. I love you so much. Go no. no help you, bro. Go, go, brothers. Slice though. The head. I love it. Yeah, slice the. Eli V. Eber, what do you got going on over here? It was doing just oh, it's this guy oh, again. What's up, Carl? Yo, yo, keep that smoke out of my window. You got <laughs> fing shit everywhere. I got heartburn just looking at this fing whole deal with you. You gotta make the sandwich nice and neat. Fluffy, not stuffy. Bruh. Fluffy, not stuffy. Don't fing the baskets. People are fing slobs. Get rid of them. I would work the window. Chucky would rock bags. Mikey rocked the register. It was like General Hospital. I worked in hospital once. Oh my god. Happy to leave Ebra alone. Don't be a bad don't be an influence on him. Let us run our house and he can run his. Really? Many people died. We're Damn. a morbid <laughs> man. <laughs> You're a morbid man. A horse? A mer horse. A, a mer horse? horse? Yeah. Mermaid horse? What would you be? Boy's still rocking his suit. Mm -hmm. Love it. It's Bye. his armor. Catapult. <laughs> Caterpillar. Is it all science? In industry. It's more fun than it sounds. I guess. Is so that funny. Josh Hartnett? Sup, Waldo? Bro, no. How can you do my boy Richie dirty like that? <laughs> Bro, how can my boy compete with my boy here? Your turn. Bet you boys and girls haven't even seen the faculty. Come on. Scat. Guaranteed to get you jacked. Plus, he's also going to be in uh, M. Night Shyamalan's newest film. Which, Bro, is that actually Josh what? Hartnett? That's how I call you whatever I want. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah, I did say that. Hmm. Well, though it is. Damn. Look, Yikes. Mommy, Stepdad and dad. Counter. I'm like, oh, for a second, I gotta talk to your daddy, okay? Uh, we're gonna have... Up. Love you, babe. We're gonna have a good conversation? Uh, uh, she, uh... You know, she asked me what to call you, you know, uh, cousin or step person or whatever, so... <laughs> yeah, well, though it is. Could be worse. Better than asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Better than an asshole. I'm actually feeling a little bit nervous right now, which is crazy. I'm, I'm worried how this conversation will go. I'm not quite sure how to. Uh... Frank, just spit it out, dog. I hope he's a good person. I hope he's a good guy. I 
I'm feeling really good about something. I should have given you a heads up before I asked Tiff to marry me. I see. I'm not her father. No, no, no. But, man, I should have talked to you. Your daughter is amazing. Oh, I'm aware. Right, and Tiff's, like, also amazing. Exactly. And I should have been a gentleman. Wow. Not wow. Good, by the way. Thanks. Okay. I just wish I'd said something. You don't need my permission, Frank. No, no, I know, but I also know that, like, this could be a little weird. And I don't want to add to the weirdness. I want things to be good. This is respectable. And you and I are probably going to spend a lot of time together, so I just... And I like that. But, uh, look, oh, whatever. I'm talking way too much. So... You know what? Respect. Respect. It. Respect. How long have you had this house? Uh, three years. It's beautiful. Thanks, man. Your parents help you? Uh, no. No, they're teachers and divorced, which is maybe why I felt, <laughs> I don't know. Look, are you sure this is okay? Mm. Oh, sure. I really appreciate that. And what else could you say in that moment? Hey, you're coming, right? You did oh, an RSVP? Yeah, 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 I've been slammed. Yeah, no, I get that. I mean, the bear's supposed to be like... I mean, it's gotta be tough, man. I swear, like, I like how he's playing this. He seems like a good guy. <laughs> I've known him for one scene, but he seems like a, a pretty good guy. But I mean, what else can you say? I mean, Richie was holding on to the hope. It's why he wore the wedding band, why he kept wearing it, why he was still talking to Tiff and hoping for the best. But in this situation, all you can do is just say, I still love Tiff. I know that I can't be with her anymore. That's uh, okay. I'll come into peace with that. I love my daughter. I want to be part of her life. And if that means that now I'll be part of Tiff and Frank's life, then so be it. But that's still rough, man. That's a lot that Richie has to try to process. Amazing. And we're still waiting for you to tell us when we can come in. When it's perfect. When it's perfect. And they, they want to come check it out, but he wants to make sure things are perfect before they come over and see. Damn. Oh, this that shot of Sid meeting somebody with glasses. Sid. Hey, I'm Adam Shapiro. I'm the, uh... Oh, from, uh, Ever. Yeah. Yeah, hey. Oh, so good to bump into uh, you. Oh, yeah, uh, nice to... Yeah, I know it's early, but I, uh, snuck into the bear. How'd you get past Carmen and Richie? <laughs> they seem pretty busy yelling at each other. Nice. Other than that, the vibe was perfect. I was with a bunch of friends, so it was kind of under the radar. Yeah, yeah. I don't even want to ask how the food was. Chef, it was excellent. Thank you. No, really, excellent. I mean, there was a, uh, a scallop dish that was lights out, and it felt really new. Like, uh... L like, uh, not carmy. Huh. It's, um, it was both of us together, so... Right, right. Well, it was really great. Interesting. I didn't think that that's what you were going to say. Oh, what would you think I was going to say? Uh, I don't know. It's been a long month. Ah, uh, that bad? No, just... Restaurants. Yeah, right? Why don't we do this to ourselves? <laughs> yeah. <crazy. laughs> yeah. What was this month's crazy? The kind that's inherited. Um, I'm, I'm running kind of late, yeah. so I should probably... Yeah, I, I am too. Yeah, okay. You gotta stop by and eat. Sure. We'd love to have you in. I mean, that's good feedback, though. Literally, aside from Carmi and Richie arguing with each other. Like the watch, dude. Always respect the nice watch. You don't gotta have some 20K, you know, timepiece. Oh, great. Let me. Accidents still happen. Thanks. Great proof. See, even yeah. professionals still nick themselves. Has anyone seen the very colorful tape? No, not now. No. no. Okay. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> what did you change? Uh, I lost the habanero. Carm, that was the whole point. I know, but dish. we changed the scotch bonnet, which is also pepper. So. I know that it's also a pepper, and that's what? not the point. The point is that you changed yeah, well, it. Well, why don't you try it before you get pissed, I... and then if you want to change it back, you can I'm change it back. I'm not pissed. Oh, my God. Communication. I'm just... You can't just change, okay, you know what, fine. I, I know that it's good. I know that it's better, even. That's not the point. The point it's is the something that you're it. not gonna wanna talk about, which, you know, I think illustrates that it really is the point. This communication between front and back of house is killing us. Mm, yes. Well, Rishi's out of his mind, so. Okay, okay all right, sure. all right. God, would you shut but up? five minutes ago, I had Nat type and print up menus because I was told and she was told that the menu was locked. In that time, did you tell 
her or anyone else that the menu was not in fact locked, that there would be a change. No, it's bad communication. Mm, yes. There we yes. go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Damn, Sher Sherlock over here. All right. Tell Watson we're on the case. Did you get the place? Yeah. That's good. Congrats. Thanks. Mainlining that uh, gum. Still not smoking? Still not smoking. That's good. How's that going? It's been like three weeks, right? 41 days. Okay. <laughs> you miss it? Yeah, like every 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, no. How's your dad feeling about the place? <laughs> All right? Well, they both cut themselves? Yeah, it's going around. Go ahead. Over here. Damn, yeah, maybe just don't cut grapefruit right now. Yeah? Mm. All right. Is it nicotine and gum? Or is it just like regular gum? Mm -mm. Not good? Mm -mm. Oh, that's awful. I kind of like it. I mean, if he's trying not to smoke, I mean, if he went cold turkey, it could just be like regular gum, but I feel like it's going to be like nicotine gum to try to like wean himself off of cigarettes, which still not great. great. I am researching the star system. Hmm. Yeah. I didn't realize you were into astrology. <laughs> if you know that stars dictate whether any given restaurant is worth a walk, drive, or flight. I did not. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, they're based on the rating, taste, kinda, creativity. Yeah. One star Service. is excellent. What's two stars? Two stars is better. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie, may I express a thought? You may. Thank you. Speaking for myself, I do not give a flying fuck into a rolling donut about the gastronomical proclivities of some dusty French tire marketing exec. Hey, what is that? Oh, uh, Zen Garden, Kyoto Philosopher's Path. Explain. Self-explanatory, isn't it? Well, this, uh... This director that I admire, he, he visited this. And when he got there, he was like, what is this? A bunch of just uh, rocks and comb sand. He didn't really, you know, know what to make of it. But then, slowly, he began to realize... Yeah, that, that the rocks are people. And we're all separated. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, exactly. And that this garden is, in fact, an illustration of human nature and how we are, all of us alone in this world. How did you know that? Pete, he's a Friedkin fan. <laughs> yeah, of course well, it was William Friedkin. You know, his movies work on several levels. Yeah. Director of uh, Exorcist, for those that are curious. And uh, although I have not experienced his entire filmography, I see one of his most underrated films is uh, Sorcerer, if you want to also watch a really good nail biter. Exorcist, Sorcerer, a bunch of others. But yeah, that's Friedkin. Friedkin's dead now. I think toward the waning years of his life, he went a little bit cuckoo. But in his prime, man knew how to make a fucking movie. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go there someday. You should take Pete. Yeah, I'll get back to you. <laughs> How's my niece? Oh, she's almost here. Any day now. I'm just, um, I'm thinking about how to not let what's, what's in here, how to not let that get to her. Yeah, I think about that all the time. You do? I got nothing, though. You have any luck? I have nothing. <laughs> How's Evie? Good. Yeah? You think, like, it's better if I, like, back off? What do you mean? Like, I don't want to back off. But is it confusing for her? Like, you know, everyone's talking about how Frank is the shit, and, like, um, I don't know, maybe it's weird that I'm, like, around. No. You're being a dad. I, I think it'd be weird if you weren't around. Yeah, you're still her father. No, good what for you for think? being present. Tiff? No, I'm Evie. She thinks I'm alone. Are you? In a way. Hey, did we make the week? Mm. Tomorrow. What's uh, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow we would have made the week. <sighs> yeah. A day late, 5,000 short. Damn. Always. Always. And over and over and over. We got gonna it. gonna freak out. Yeah, we gotta change something me. soon. With photos? For what? Right, so cut here. See how it's all nice and tight? Under the Pope's nose there? Uh -oh. yeah, Chef Cindy, a word. So, why is the Tribune coming to take pictures? Hello? Somebody forget Chef something? Chef Cindy, why is Chef Carmen saying like that? Because uh, we're being reviewed. Great. Like tonight? Great communication. Like they've already been here. 
Well, let's here's hope. Well, we don't know how that'll be yet. We'll have to wait and see then, right? We don't know what's bad. Now, confirm for me. Was that Josh Hartnett? It's going to drive me crazy until I know. Please tell me. Yeah, Josh Hartnett. I was about to say, please tell me I wasn't crazy. Cool. That's great. Okay, well, we've already been reviewed. They're coming to take pictures, and we're going to have a bit. We're going to have a spot in the Chicago Tribune. Just a matter of whether or not what we're doing works. I mean, if the one guy that Sydney ran into is anything to go by, I mean, it, it sounds like the only negative to the restaurant, aside from the fact they're not making the money they wish they were making, is uh, that, like, Carm and Richie are at each other's throats and constantly arguing. But aside from that, the food's good, the restaurant looks nice, the atmosphere's great, etc., etc. The, the atmosphere's mostly great. We're almost halfway through with season three already. Uh, so far, so four episodes in. First two episodes, really good. These last two episodes, pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. So, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping we'll get at least an episode or two that are, like, fantastic, that are just, like, killer episodes. So far, so good. Enjoying my time with season three. That's all we gotta say. I think I made my thoughts clear. But, like, Richie definitely should be a present father. The bear is functioning, but they need to cut costs, like, yesterday. And Carmi and Rich need to have a talk. Carmi and Claire need to have a talk. And Carm is just lost in the sauce, as he is wont to do when trying to cope with trauma. So hopefully we can get it all turned around. Uh, thank you, as always. Subscribe, Instagram, social media, Twitch for the Vigi games and the streaming. That's the best ways you can show your support outside of spending money, I suppose. <laughs> Thank you, have a good day, have a good night, and goodbye, travelers.